What is going on, my beautiful people? Today we're going to talk about some boa constrictor information. Uh, a lot of people, you know, know the husbandry of boas and all that, but they don't really know a lot about them as far as um, where they come from, um, what all that they eat. Um, and the process of breeding them. So today we're gonna to talk about that, okay? So uh, first of all, there. Uh, this is a boa constrictor imperator. Um, they are a non-venomous species of the Boadia family, okay? Um, they are normally found in Mexico, Central America, South America, west of the Andes Mountains, primarily in Colombia. Okay, um, they are commonly called the common boa, the Colombian boa, and common northern boa. It's frequently called a red tailed boa, but not all boas are true red tailed boas. There is the boa constrictor imperator, which is what I have here. Uh, this would be known as your common boa, if you will. Um, and then you have your boa constrictor constrictor. So your BCI is boa constrictor imperator. Your BCC is boa constrictor constrictor, which is actually your true red-tailed boas, such as your uh, Surinams and th things of that nature. Uh, they have a specific locality. Um, they're also a uh, what you would call a dwarf species of boa. There is the Tarahumara Mountain Boa is one of them. Um, I can't think of the other ones right now. But anyways, uh, I do have a cheat sheet here that I'm, I have it laid out to help me. Uh, the lifespan of a boa constrictor is between 20 and 30 years. So uh, most of the time, guys, these are quite a hunk of lifetime, you know, commitment. Uh, the size of a boa can vary accordingly to the locality of the boa, but a common boa, which is this, normally gets around seven to eight feet in length. Uh, the boa's diet in captivity consists of mice, rats, African soft furred rats, chickens, quail, guinea pigs, and sometimes even small rabbits. Um, often common boas are bred for uh, specific morphs, such as I have in the back here behind me. I have a, a VPI sun glow. I have a lipstick sun glow. I have uh, a normal sun glow, sun glow jungle, so it would be a jungle, I'm sorry. Uh, things of that nature. Boas give live birth. That means that they do not have eggs. They are straight out of the womb. You better get out of my face, buddy. Anyways, uh, males have been known to be ready to breed at 18 months of age. That's pretty young, guys. But you want to make sure that your snake has enough body weight on him to withstand a breeding season. Because breeding takes a lot out of a snake. A whole lot out of a snake. Um, I have seen snakes in the past uh, breed and li literally lose like pounds of weight because it is just so hard on that, on that animal. 
um, females between um, 12 and 18 pounds and around six to seven feet long are ready to breed, although it is best to wait till they are at least four to five years of age before trying to breed them. And that's just because of uh, you want them to be old enough and you want there to be enough weight on your snake that it can um, handle being bred and stuff. Any common boa that is under 10 pounds, don't breed it. Just don't do it. Um, male or female, in order to properly breed the snake, it is good to start dropping the hot spot temperatures in the enclosures at night. Uh, say when these guys get just a little bit older, not much older, but just a little bit older, uh, I'm gonna start in November dropping the temperature weekly by about three degrees every night uh, till I reach a 75 degree hot spot at night. Um, and I will keep it like that until April. To begin the breeding process, you want to put the male in the female's cage and you want to watch for a lock. Now by lock, I mean that you want to see the snake's cloacas, which is right. Where's your zap, buddy? Right here. Your head's in the way. Anyways, right under my thumb. <laughs> it's really hard, guys. It's a big snake. Um, the, you want to see the cloacas conjoined and the tails will most likely be uh, kind of twisted or wrapped around each other. Um, after a successful lock has occurred and the snakes separate, you then take the male back to his original enclosure to risk for two to three days. Uh, during this time, you will feed him a very small meal, and that's so that he doesn't lose a lot of weight. Um, again, breeding takes a lot out of a snake, guys. Uh, so, younger males are to breed four days a week. An older male would breed five days a week, okay? So, over time, you'll see your female boa becoming gravid and start to produce follicles, okay? She will then ovulate. A good sign that your snake is gravid or AKA pregnant um, is when you see the scales in the middle of the body slightly begin to separate just a little. Um, 120 days after her ovulation, you can expect to see babies. Um, or you can wait for what is called a prelay shed and then count 105 days after the prelay shed and you'll have babies. Again, these snakes give live birth, therefore there will never be any eggs. Um, you are not promised to have an absolutely healthy litter. You will have some in fertile ova, which we in the snake industry call slugs. Um, sometimes you will even have stillborn babies. Sometimes it's only one or two, sometimes it's the whole clutch. You can have all in fertile ovas. I have seen that more times than you can imagine. Um, if you do everything right, you will more than likely have some beautiful, beautiful baby boas. 
But anyways, guys, that's it for the BOA information. The next one I, I wanna do is a real short clip on the blood pythons, and it will be more or less the same, just about a different species of snake. We'll see you guys next time.